All right, this video is going to be about a YouTuber, which has the name right now, Spiritual Truth, which is literally the opposite of the truth. And what I have noticed about these devils is they love to pick people that are demonic, draw them in, give them a little bit of truth and recruit these minions to get you to disobey God's law. And this is exactly what this little witch is doing. She's been a witch pretty much her whole life. Supposedly, you know, she, what the devil does, he knows that Paul was going to be revealed because surely in the last day, the true gospel would be preached, which it is starting to be preached. So there are many people that he literally sent to give them the truth about Paul, but then lead them astray another way. These are his minions. They are false prophets. They are false teachers. Just because they know about Paul being false does not mean they are not false. The, if they try to get you to break the commandments of God, you are to forsake them. But this is her YouTube page. This is her Facebook page. This is her name, which I'm going to go into detail on her name. And this is her um, Facebook group called Scripture Truth, Scripture Truth and Inherited Lies. This lady is the opposite of the truth. She is still a practicing witch. Stay tuned. This was one of the verses that made me feel like that we were supposed to be following the Old Testament law. But when I started analyzing the Greek, I don't think that's what it was saying at all. Like I told you, names are, are no coincidence. Um, they are definitely have a lot of meaning. Okay. Little Miss Golanvi Waya. I'm not sure how to say her name, y'all. But Little Miss Wicked Witch of the West did a post saying names are important and oh 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 how how right she is and she knows exactly what her name means and god warns us of her i'm pretty sure i know what her middle name is but let's just start off with her first and last name what does it mean since names are so important like she tells you and I know if she knows what her name means and she hasn't ever tried to change it. She is very proud of her name and literally idolizes her name. And I can prove that to you as well. But let's take a look at what her name means. Let's start with her first name. <laughs> okay, right here. I hope y'all can see it. The Cherokee gave him a nickname, G-O-L-A-N-V, meaning the raven, which is a plucker. And now let's see what her last name means. Right here. Woof. Her name literally means Raven Wolf or Raven Wolf. What a coincidence, not. Let me go into detail of why this name is such a big warning. So this is Matthew 7, chapter 7, verse 15. Beware of false prophets, false teachers. They don't have to call themselves a prophet to be a false prophet who come in sheep's clothing. They love to appear righteous on the outside, okay? But inwardly, they are ravenous wolves. What does this word mean? One who is in God's name teaches what is false. So all they have to do is teach what is false to be a false prophet. No, they're just teaching falsehood who come to you in clothing sheep their apparel what they like to wear so they appear as sheep but inwardly notice this is because she's gonna she's gonna twist this word up many times and say it means no or not and she is not the only one that did it the scribes started doing it 
But if you really dig into translation, you'll find out it's a lie. It means like, in addition to, or besides, translated after, moreover, in addition to, okay, they are wolves, a wolf. They have the properties of a wolf, okay? Ravenous, look, look what this means. This is um, seizing, sudden snatching, robbery, extortion. But let's take this word and just go look at it. These are ones that pluck the truth because this is literally in her name and is exactly what she's doing. Okay, a robber, a grabber. What are they grabbing? They're trying to grab the word, God's word. They're trying to steal that word he just sowed within you. They're trying to deceive you and trick you. Do not let this witch steal the word from you. Okay, she is a grabber. Remember, her name is Raven. Okay, that's what her name means. Guess what these ravens are? Okay, so I'm looking at all the different meanings of it. And I didn't even notice this, but I have to add it. Just the spiritual meaning, look at this. Connected to the raven, the eye of Horus, the devil. Okay, this is in the meaning of her name. I want y'all to pay attention to, to this word. It is so important, y'all. This is, this is what she is. What is a raven? She loves to go to the etymology. Let's go to the etymology of it. Look, raven prey, plunder, food obtained by violence. Why is it a raven? What are they stealing? They're stealing food. What is she stealing? Well, what does God say we're supposed to be eating? He says we're supposed to be eating the word of God. What is she stealing from people? The word. She's stealing. It's, you know what? It's so deeper than them just extorting you out of your money. They're extorting you out of your soul. It is by taking in the word of God you find life. This woman is literally trying to rip the word of God from you and, and discredit the word. She is plundering the word of God. So this this is what it's going to show, okay, for under ravenous. But let's take this, this first letter and make it in its purest content, grabs. That is exactly what the raven does. It's grabbing your food. What is your food? The word of God. Because Isaiah 55, he came, his son came, which is King David, which is Jesus, which is Joshua, and has brought you the truth, the word. And this little ravenous wolf is trying to steal that from you. She is sent by the devil. But we can tell from her fruits, she's trying to get you to disobey God's law. Pay attention, y'all. But this man did a video on these birds, these ravens, ravens, however you say it. And I'm not going to play the volume, but I'm just going to let you see how they go steal the food. They literally are still. Okay, this is Mark 414. This is the warning from the son of the most high, the son of God. Don't let this little ravenous wolf come snatch this word from you. She's not just denying the father now, she's denying the father and the son. She is a raven wolf, a raven wolf, okay? Her attributes is she's trying to steal your bread, the bread of life, the word of God. She is trying to steal your bread. Do not let this little wolf steal your bread. Mark 4, 14, the sowing, this is his word sows. The one sowing his word sows. Now listen, these, and this is like after, this is more like after, but whatever. And this is what this widow witch is going to tell you means not because she's, she's ignorant. She's an ignorant witch. These after, are they along the road or the path? Where is sown? What's sown? The word. Who's the word? God. And then they hear. 
immediately comes the enemy. This is Satan, the enemy. She is the enemy. And what takes away, what does this mean? Lifts away. She's that little raven that's coming to take that word about your heart. Okay. This is Miss Raven Wolf. This is her, Miss Not Spiritual Truth. She is the opposite of spiritual, spiritual truth. And this is his word that was sown in them. She's trying to snatch the truth out of you. She is the witch. The devil knew it was time Paul be exposed. He sent his little witches ahead of the game to make sure, oh, that's okay. You're going to find out about Paul, but I'm going to have this little witch try to get you to disobey the commandments of God another way. And that is exactly what this little ravenous wolf is doing. She's come trying to steal that word about your heart. This was one of the verses that made me feel like that we were supposed to be following the Old Testament law. But when I started analyzing the Greek, I don't think that's what it was saying at all. Okay, so pay attention to Matthew 27, 26. Now, the same word right here, she wants to tell you it means not, when really it means after. And then in the next verse, it's okay that it means but or something else because she switches up like the weather. She feeds you whatever fits her demonic agenda. She is a ravenous wolf. Literally, that's what her name means. And who's ever eating up her swine because she's literally feeding you swine, garbage, trash, lies. I mean, you're eating from the flesh of swine now. Believe the word of God, not this witch. Why is this this here? And now watch. Show you how inconsistent this little witch is. Look, she tells you this means but this time. Okay, but before she's going to tell you, it means no or not. It's whatever fits her little agenda when actually it means like after. This comes like right after something begets something after, 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 or now it, or then. Okay, this is never not. That is a total mistranslation. But if you pay attention to her, she changes up like the weather. Just whatever suits her little agenda is what she feeds you. Why is she telling you this means but here, but somewhere else it means not? Well, because she's a deceiver. She is the Antichrist. This was one of the verses that made me feel like that we were supposed to be following the Old Testament law. But when I started analyzing the Greek, I don't think that's what it was saying at all. Make the same mistake over and over again She's going to take this word, which does not mean not. It does mistranslate in a lot of translators. I give her that. But you don't have to be a genius to see that's not what it means. Look, it even tells you it translates but and now. I think the perfect translation would be after. Okay, and look where it fits. Beget Isaac and Isaac begat. Would it make sense to say Beget Isaac, not beget, no. Beget Jacob, not beget, no. Okay, that doesn't make sense. And then she wants to pull up how many times it's been translated. Look how many times it's been translated, not. Not one time. But this witch is going to try to force it to be not to suit her own twisted up ideology. Because that's what witches do, I guess. But let's see, this is the true translation, y'all. I don't know how to say this. It's like the or something. I don't even know what this trans. Let's see what this translates. Yeah, it says it's the, and I guess it doesn't make a lot of sense to translate it. But let's just say the after, okay, or now, or but, okay, they were urgent with voices loud asking for him to be crucified and were prevailing the voices of them. This was added, so I'm not going to read that. And Pilate sent it to be done the demand of them. This little wicked witch of the West will not get this in her head. She insists. Look, Matthew 23, 23. She insists that this word means not when it doesn't. 
Okay, that's why she she's getting the wrong translation. She doesn't understand Greek at all. Okay, I know she likes to use her translators, but she doesn't compare the other places. And if she does, she's not showing it to you because it doesn't fit her false ideology. Okay, Miss Thang was trying to make a point with how this is worded. And the only reason I know this is because I translate from the codex all the time. And a lot of the times I give it to her. They mistranslated it. Okay. Depending on how it's abbreviated is depending on what it means. So like James 1.1, 1, 1, when it has this you looking thing at the end, which would actually be look more like a Y because it would be capital in the codex, but they don't do it over on the side like this. So this is of God. If it had, um, it looks like it looks like an E, but it's not an E. I don't know what it's called, but it looks like a kind of a weird, like very straight edged E. If it looks like that, then that is actually God. If it looks like this, it's of God. So it's actually James, which is very close to Jacob. I do give her that. It's but it's a little different on the end. Okay. So it makes me wonder if all these James are really James. Some of them might be Jacob, but Jacob is Joshua. Most people don't know that. But anyways, so this is James of God. And this is actually of the king, okay, or master, or translated Lord. I translated king because I know who Joshua is. He is the king of Israel, okay? So this is of God and of King and of Jesus, of Yahshua and of Christ. So that's what James 1, 1 would be. And I do believe they did mistranslate this. So I give that to her, but still, and yet we got to go by the original. We can't just go by what was mistranslated. So this is the second one she pulled up. Okay. Which is what, um... First Timothy five twenty one. Sure, I have the right one because sometimes I switch these up. First Timothy five twenty one, right here. So this would actually be of God, and this would be of Christ, of Jesus. You know what? Paul was backwards and he often switched things. He was like upside down. He was the Antichrist. So he often did this, just something he did. She's proving nothing. This is her Facebook group. It's called Scripture, Truth, and Inherited Lies. She has 350 members right now, and I'm disappointed in almost every last one of them. Now, I hold on. Let me stop lying. There was a chick named Michelle. I give it to her. There was a few people actually taking up for the truth. I ain't mad at y'all. But you, Ed D. Salazar, you are her biggest fan, honey. And let me tell you, this lady is running game on you. She blocked you. Okay? She blocked you. And you can't see it? Any Anybody with the brain can see it. Look. What, what, did, he, what did he tell her? I've been censored by who I don't know, but I can't message you anymore from Messenger. Maybe the only time you're censored is when the other person blocks you from Messenger. She, I'm not saying she blocked you from Facebook or her or her little um, her little Facebook uh, group. No, she ain't gonna do that. You're her biggest fan, but she blocked you from personally messaging her. You are obviously getting on her nerves. Okay. And then the lady has the nerve, which I actually think it's funny. She put jeepers. I wonder why. He put, I can't reply to you or send you a message. Jeepers, I wonder why. Because the lady blocked you. Oh my gosh. Would you please, lady, get off the gas and tell the man the truth. Just let him know he's been messaging you too much. You ain't having it. Don't don't message. But you did you blocked him, whatever. But anyway, you're following someone that doesn't care about you. Okay, stop bugging this lady and go 
follow the word of God. You don't need no teacher. This lady's leading you to hell. She's not a teacher. Here's some more proof I found. I took this screenshot a few, like a year ago, maybe a year, a year and a half. I was planning on doing something on her then. Then I thought, oh, the poor lady, maybe she's senile, maybe, I don't know. But anyway, this is her server. I think she's changed it since then. But look what it says, Raven Wolf's server. She knows exactly what her name means and she is proud of it. Okay, this is her other little YouTube channel. Okay, take a look at what she has on here. Wiccan. Some creepy crap, y'all. Anyway, this says Lawless84. This lady's evil. This right here is her Pinterest. She has this folder created, Art for My Walls. Now, just looking at some of these pictures, I'm like, they're not too bad, but some of them are really creepy. And you can tell like what's in this woman's heart. Look at this picture here of this lady with the, looks like a, a bear, the soul of a bear, bear in her hand or something creepy. I don't know. But this one, oh, I know why she picked this one with the little raven's, uh, the little raven's head on, on the woman's head and these little birds covering this woman's naked body. This is a perfect representation of her. She knows exactly who she is. Here's another little mystical woman. And at the same time she's liking these, she's also liking crosses. And Lord, please cut it down a little more so I'll be able to carry it better. Yeah, she wants to make sure her being a witch can get in. You know what? If I was the devil, this would be the perfect woman I would choose. Like, come here. You're going to, I'm going to give you a few of these little mysteries like, like, I'm going to tell you about Paul, and then I'm going to get you to teach these people the Luciferian doctrine. And in case you don't know, the Luciferian doctrine is the God of the Old Testament. The God of the Bible is really the bad guy, is really Lucifer. It's the complete opposite of the truth. And this is exactly what she's trying to feed y'all now, just with a little twist to it. So, yeah, this is her little Pinterest. and. She's into some weird crap, y'all. But this is nothing compared to her Amazon account. Oh, let's look at her Amazon account. So this is her little Amazon account. Go to her little wish list. Now, I do give it to her. Most of these posts are like six to eight years ago. But still and yet, I want you to see the pattern because even way back when she was into witchcraft she was also buying bibles and crosses or at least putting them down on her wish her wish list so she was like into the bible and into witchcraft all at the same time and i have a feeling nothing has changed well actually no it hasn't because now she's trying to teach the luciferian doctrine okay so look she has this wolf prayer and it's literally, it, it, it's so sick, y'all. It's just, it's literally a prayer for the wolf spirit to like come in you. Spirit of the wolf. Like she's literally praying for the spirit of the wolf. And then she also has a raven one that she likes. That's, let me show you. That's how come she knows exactly what her name means. But notice she's not teaching on that. Where's her little, her little raven, her little raven raven oh here it is prayer okay post the raven this is another crap these are the things that this lady likes okay raven or raven i call on your wisdom okay so she's literally been praying to these deities to these demonic deities I told you she is literally the ravenous wolf and she knows it, but she ain't going to tell you that. And what I 
find so eerie about this stuff is like even way back years ago, the same time, look, she just loves these ravens, ravens, whatever. She knows exactly what her name means. She idolizes her name. In fact, I'm going to show you her Etsy account. And it's like everything she wants is a, a little raven ring or a, a, a hoodie or a, a little witch cape or a little pagan, all this stuff. Like pay attention to what this lady likes. And even though, yes, this was a long time ago, she's into that painting. Okay. This was a long time ago. She has the same patterns. Look, she was into, you know, religious things. It's like, she'll call on any spirit. She doesn't care. She's literally like, she's prostituting herself to whatever God will accept her. Devil, de she don't care. See how she wanted these little crucifixes? And I have a feeling this might've been when she met Stephen, which is another, I have to show you his Facebook account. I believe this was, Maybe the person that got her into things, but notice this, okay? This is, she wanted this Bible, but yet she also wanted witchcraft books. Pay attention to these dates, y'all. Look, the history of the church, 2014. 2014, she wanted this little cross thing. Um, unconditional. Mm -hmm. That's what she's trying to go for now. Because you know a witch doesn't want to keep the laws. In fact, she's I saw her trying to go go in on start tearing apart the laws. Where did I see it? Oh, the king's curse. Um crocheting crap look at these this was little little um pentagram candle things shadow spell oh here's our little where's that little wolf thing magic howling wolf head all at the same time, she's looking for Bibles. Okay, this shows you where her heart's at. She's a mess. An American Indian. The mystery of the seven directions. The, temp the temples of light. A year of ritual. Invoking the Egyptian gods. When was this? This was 2013. Egyptian paganism for beginners. Seasons of witchery. Y'all come on. Y'all have to stop following this lady. And then at the 2012 proof of heaven. Like she is all over the place. This is why she's all over the place now. She's not steadfast at all adultery murder medieval y'all please y'all look at this 2011 she's she's looking up bibles mm -mm. the holy bible 2011 and then 2012 2000 like she's all over the place y'all kabbalah let me see if i can find let me see if i can find her man for you so this, I believe, is the dude she was in a relationship. Maybe when she got with him, this is when she started mixing Christianity with paganism. And he, come on now, he wasn't, he's not exactly all there either. Remembering my great grandfather. Look at this, y'all. Everyone knows what this is. I'm not even going to say it. So I don't want them to block any of my video. But I'm telling you, this woman is into some weird things. I know she has a daughter. Let me bring up her daughter. I don't know what she teaches her daughter or if she's even been in her daughter's life. I know she has one daughter. This is her daughter. But I believe she might have given up some children for adoption because there's these two girls that literally have her same name 
and they're one of them is definitely into some demonic things so i don't know if they just happen to have the same name as her and these people are just taking on this trait or if this is somehow like an adopted daughter or a daughter she gave up for adoption or i'm not sure but there's two of them and they're very similar with very one is has her exact name and one i believe i don't know if she would name both of her daughters after her these two daughters which would i think would be older than this one but i could be wrong about that but there's something really creepy about this woman y'all and of course she's a little painter and this is i assume a painting of herself the raven raven spirit by her the raven witch the raven wolf and the little raven around her neck because she is the raven wolf that's one of hers and then here's another one she's so obsessed with these y'all these and wolves and um, she takes so many pictures and she just obsessed with the ravens and the wolves because that's who she is and i shouldn't have to like beat this dead horse because it's already dead it should be obvious to everyone she's obsessed with this stuff this is literally who she is but yet y'all are making void what god almighty said through his son and continuing in her false teachings well then when you wind up in hell and become twice the child of hell as her don't say you weren't warned okay this is her etsy account this is very revealing too but first i want to show you the one two things that she sold on etsy wonder how i found that before this is her little bio about her okay here's this was her store she had two sales okay this was her two sales god's eye aka i don't know what that says i guess it's spanish god's eye aka whatever that is tribe of some mountains in mexico da, 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 da okay that was one of her sales that was one of her pagan sales let's see what her other pagan so i think it's something really similar to this okay this was her other thing same same crap just another design so she's big into the occult the occult things and now let's go back to her faves, what she's into. Okay. Like I said, she definitely knows she likes this little ritual meditation candle thing. Definitely, oh, little witch, little witch cape. Um, there's her little her little ravens, her little ravens. Same this necklace, same with this mug, same with this ring, this little witch hat. Like she knows what her name means. She's definitely into the ravens and the wolves because this is who she is. The little wolf ring. Okay, she's all about uplifting herself and her name. Here's this little raven um, sweatshirt, little witch crap some more little witchcraft ah here lord shiva like these are her favorites y'all and then just like just like a pharisee they love to dress and be worshipped as a teacher so i guess as soon as she got into christianity of course she wanted to look the part with the long skirts i don't know if this is actually witch looking stuff to me but I guess for a while she was into this jury. You know, she has to play the part. 
like I said before, I didn't watch all her video, but there's one more thing I wanted to add because I do remember her bringing up um, the witch that Saul went to and spoke to, and she literally tried to justify the witch's testimony as if it was the word of God because the lady said, I see Elohim come up from, I think, like, from within the earth or under, I forgot exactly what it was. And I'm like, this witch, like, I know people wouldn't normally catch that, that don't really know the word. So in order for this woman to trick you, you have to really not know and study the word of God. But it's sad because those are the very ones she's deceiving. She's evil. And... I'm not ignorant because I have nearly three college degrees and and I'm not ignorant because I have nearly three college degrees and I miss three degrees. A raven wolf considers herself a wise and prudent little woman. But yet when this man checks her about, hey, you just started learning scripture and blah, blah, blah. You're reinterpreting scripture through translators and your own little ideology well she uses 10 luke 10 21 and she put in the hour which is yashua jesus rejoiced in spirit which she now doesn't even believe this is the true uh, messiah she she doesn't believe in the anointed one the the foretold one that was foretold to come she believes i think that was was it Barnabas or Barabbas? I don't know. She's a complete idiot. But anyways, she's going to use this scripture and try to justify this as herself when she just got through saying how wise she was and what a learned woman she is. But yet she uses uh, Luke 10, 21. See, she really doesn't care about the truth. She just uses tr scripture to try to prove her point. So that's twisting scripture because this Scripture doesn't fit you, Miss Raving Wolf. You got your three degrees. You's the learned woman. So why are you using this as if you are a babe? Which you're not a babe at all. In that hour, Yahshua rejoiced in spirit and said to them, I thank thee, O Father, Elohim of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent that three degrees miss ravening whoop that includes you and has revealed them unto babes even so father for so it seems good in thy sight but yet she's going to try to justify this as her because she will twist scripture any way that suits her purpose and i'm not ignorant because i have nearly three college degrees and and I'm not ignorant because I have nearly three college degrees and and I'm not ignorant because I have nearly three college degrees and this woman is the perfect definition of thinking she's wise in her own eyes but nullifying the word of God and there is places in the Bible where the scribes did change God's law into a lie but those things are very easy especially nowadays to find the very scriptures she used to try to discredit the father i literally searched up and found like within minutes that they were either added or mistranslated so i'm like why isn't she doing it she wants to discredit the father when you discredit the father you have to deny the son this is why she's trying to say that Jesus is not the anointed one, he's not Christ, and that Jesus is really some other person. She's all over the place. I've heard her say that Luke was Christ. I've heard her say, refer to Luke as being the devil. When things don't, when, when literally she says something and then the next verse goes against what she says, then she says that the verse is slanted. No, she's slanted. And I'm all for researching the Bible. I'm all for proving what the scribes hid. But what the scribes want is for you not to obey God's law. And that's literally where she's going with this. She's discrediting 
the father. So she's going to discredit the son. And then there goes Moses too, because it's what did, what did Jesus say? What did Yahshua say? When you deny me, you deny the father, vice versa. And if you didn't believe Moses, you won't believe me. This lady is going off a cliff and she's going to take as many people off with her. This right here is so disrespectful. And I see so many people like that I'm friends with that aren't saying one thing to this lady. I've already, you know, this lady has already told me to go away, leave her alone, blah, blah, blah. But I'm doing my part to expose this wolf. You either rebuke her. First of all, you need to rebuke her. And then if she does not change, you have to cut her off. That is the true requirements. And if you don't do that, you will share in her guilt. But I think I've given enough evidence. It's so easy to go over her little faulty stuff. Like it took me a few minutes and I haven't watched all her videos. It's just hours and hours of the same thing. It's very boring to me. And when she first came out with exposing Paul, I was a hundred percent for her. But then she started going in all different directions. She's all over the place. Her foundation was never good to begin with. She was sent because the devil knows what time it is. And God is allowing his people to be tested. Will you obey his voice? Will you try to prove his word? Or will you just throw him away? Because the day of wrath is almost here. I feel sorry for anyone that starts breaking his commandments now, especially over this ravening wolf.